Good afternoon, I am Mr. Ish. We're looking here at a out of the ordinary video with regards to what we've been seeing so far. It's a geometry proof. Consider a circle, you have a diameter as it's shown and you know the diameter must go through the center. We will call this a specific point A, we'll call this a specific point B. What, whether we name these or not, it didn't really matter, but we can call the diameter a segment AB. If you find any point on this circle from this point up to this point, but here focusing here on the top or anywhere on the circle and let you label that point P. If you connect A to P and you connect B to that P, you've essentially drawn a triangle. This angle here will always be 90 degrees, no matter where that point P would have been. Consider another circle. You must always start with the diameter and consider this point here P and you connect it here and you connect it on the other side. This here is a 90 degrees. No matter where you draw this point P, you're always generating with regards to the end points of that diameter and this triangle. This is always turning out to be a 90 degree angle and it's a very proven theorem. You can put it right over here and you'll have this 90 degrees form. We have to prove why is that the case that that triangle always forms such. We know that a triangle will form because you're connecting three points. A triangle will form. We're trying to show why is this connected point over here, this vertex always 90 degrees. And let's look at it in this particular video. Remember, there's more than one way of doing it. I'm only showing you a single way. There could be other ways. And it doesn't have to be anything too formal. It can be more fun. It can be less formal. Consider this circle and draw a diameter, connect any point. Here's my point P, here's my point A, point B. We'll make that exactly as we see it. Identify the center, here's my center, right? Center, we know this right here is going to be angle A, this right here is going to be angle B. Connect from this center up to this point and you've generated that. You see you've generated that. In all instances, you've demonstrated three radii. From here to here is a radius. From here to here is a radius. From here to here is a radius. And you can see that any point from the center of the circle to any point on this outside curve, the circle curve is a radius. Look at this triangle and look at this triangle and then look at this angle right here and this angle right here. Now consider and draw this triangle separately and I'm gonna draw it. This is my first triangle and my other triangle is exactly as it is. I've taken this triangle and separated them out. I have this angle A. I know this right here is my radius, this right here is my radius, and I know this side is equal to that side because they're both the radii, they're equal sides. I have an angle B here as shown, and I know this right here is my radius, and this right here is my radius, so they're obviously equal. What are we essentially looking at? We're essentially looking here at isosceles triangles. Why are they isosceles? Because two of the sides are equal and they're equal because two of the sides are radii. Radius is always equal no matter which point on that circle you're connecting the center with. If this right here is angle A, then this here must be angle A. If this right here is angle B, this here must be angle B because you have two equal sides, therefore you must have two equal angles. Now we've demonstrated to you that this right here must be angle A and I'm just removing this out for cleanliness and we've generated and demonstrated that this here is angle B. If you look at a triangle, the sum of all the angles of a triangle must be 180. Look at all of these. You have A, you have B, and then you have A plus B. This A plus B represents this part right here and it must equal 180. Add them up. You have 2A plus 2B is equal to 180. Isolate 2, you have A plus B with the 2 brought out is equal to 180. And then you have A plus B is equal to 180 divided by 2 which is 90. So wherever I'm seeing a combination of A plus B as I'm seeing right over here, then that right there must be 90 degrees and we've proven this to be the case. If you have a diameter, let call, let's call that diameter AB and you connect the diameter with the third point anywhere on that circle, you generate a triangle, that third angle that you've generated, it will always be 90 degrees and we've shown it to be the case. And it's 90 degrees because when you draw this extra line here, an extra radius, you essentially form two isosceles triangles and then you know we have two equal sides, two equal angles and we go from there. And this proof has been done for you. Remember again, there's more than one way of doing this. I'm only showing you one way, a simplified way. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.